good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to SummerSlam 2024 review. So we are going to be watching SummerSlam. I'm looking forward to this show. We've got uh, Cody versus Solo Sokoa, Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan, Bailey versus Nia Jax, Logan Paul versus LA Knight. Hopefully we've got LA Knight winning the US Championship. I fucking hope so. So let's kick things off with Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley. Why the fuck is this the opening contest? Just out of curiosity, why? Well, let's find out, shall we? Okay, that was cool as fuck. Rhea Ripley just legitimately may have had a separated shoulder. She just went, fuck this shit, bam, and popped it back into place. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. You cheeky little bastard, Dom. Oh, you, you are Eddie's son. Fucking bastard. So we just had Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley. And this was... I didn't like the beginning. I thought the beginning was really weird. You know, the cat and mouse game between both of them. But this was fun. It was entertaining. But... Dominic left the chair off Rhea. To basically turn around and go, don't do it this way. Do it, you know, win it normally. But then immediately just slice the chair in to cross Rhea the match. Why? Why not just do the first one? Anyway, but this was a good match. It was entertaining. It's gone a further the feud moving forward. We'll see what happens on Raw. But yeah, good opening contest. Not going to lie. So let's carry on with our show and see what our next matchup is going to be. Wow! Fucking Michael Cole turning around and calling Dom the son of a bitch. Booyah! Oh, Rhea's pissed! Rhea is pissed! <laughs> he is so Eddie! He is Eddie's son! I'm sorry, but he's Eddie's son. Like, I know he's related to Ray, but... Damn this motherfucker smooth! He is like Eddie Guerrero, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck yeah. Two-timing little bastard. The fuck guy. Okay. I, I genuinely thought that uh, Seth would come out and actually cost Rhea of the match. But Dom? Okay, D Dom is... I've said it before, I'll say... You know, I said it just a moment ago. That was actually kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Very entertaining. And I genuinely did not think Dom would turn on Rhea Ripley. So, you know, well done WWE. You, you actually had me second-guessing myself. I'm actually kind of happy with WWE. They did go for the obvious answer, but they made it believable to a point where mm, I'm kind of second-guessing myself on a few things. I'm actually kind of happy about they're doing it now. So, yeah. Oh, you know, this story's going to carry on, and I cannot wait for the story to carry on. So, let's not waste any more time. We will get to the next matchup. Oh, Damien Priest is pissed. <laughs> He is one pissed off Puerto Rican. He is demanding to know where Dominic is. And the rest of Judgment Day, Carlito, JD Madonna and Finn have gone to look for Dirty Dom. If I was Dom in live, apologies for the butt, I'd get the fuck out of Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> I'd get the fuck out of there. Because Judgment Day are baying for his blood. Now we've got Braun Breaker versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. I kind of want Braun to win and become the new IC champion. I've loved Sami Zayn's reign, but I think it's time to put some gold on good old Braun Breaker, and I think it's time to put the IC title on him. So, we'll see if that happens. Let's get to this match. So, we just had Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker for the IC championship, and I hope Braun's shoulder's okay after the first match, because, fuck, he took... He did the spear into the turnbuckle and it fucking looked like it hurt like a bitch. But, really good matchup. Braun Breaker is the new in the Continental Champion after the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, crisscross spear. It was good. It was a good matchup. It was qu quick, but again, it was a Braun Breaker match. So he did show off his power. He did, you know, Sammy. Sammy's always good as the IC Champion. I'm not going to lie about that. He's always really good when it comes to the IC Championship. 
And to be honest, to, you know, give it to Bourne Breaker now because he has been showing a lot of improvement over the past uh, year and a bit. So it's always been good. It was a good thing. And the two, you know, he is a fucking great powerhouse. So it just goes to show that, yeah, you know, the right timings is everything. So, you know, Braun Breaker not winning it as Money in the Bank. Make it win, you know, let him win it at SummerSlam. It's a big stage. This is Sammy's first SummerSlam as well. It's a loss. I do feel bad for Sammy. But he's had a really good IC title run, I, I think, personally. He's had some really great matches. And he's always been able to ele uh, elevate the IC Championship as well. Give it to Braun. It's always going to be good. So, yep, two good matches so far. Let's see if the ball carries on with our third matchup. So, let's get to it. I think... I, I genuinely think Machine Gun Kelly's at WWE. I think it's Machine Gun. I don't know if it is. I don't... <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, it is Machine Gun Kelly. Okay, cool. Um, why the fuck is Machine Gun Kelly here? I don't fucking know, but whatever. Um, it's the US title match. It's uh, Logan Paul versus LA Knight. Please let LA, uh, LA Knight win. Please. Yes! LA Knight versus Logan Paul for the US belt. It was a fun matchup. I will admit, I have been harsh on Logan Paul. I have been. I will admit that one. He's not my cup of tea. I've said that before as well. He has shown improvement in the ring. I have said that too. But I'm so happy LA Knight is the new United States champion. Yes! <laughs> yes! We've got the US champ. We've got LA Knight and... Uh... Yeah, oh, yep, it's count. Yep, yep, yes! We've got LA Knight as the new United States champion. This was, again, this was a good match. I'm not going to lie, it was entertaining. It was well done. Logan's, do Logan's good. LA Knight is good. This was fun. It was entertaining. I'm not going to deny that. It was really, really good. I'm just happy. I'm happy LA Knight finally got a win. And, again, I don't get the connection between... Um, um, MGK. I, I don't know why Machine Gun Kelly's here. Is he from Cleveland or is he from Ohio? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, people who are who are knowledgeable of, um, you know, uh, you know, Machine Gun Kelly need to tell me that. But you know what? This was fun. You know, it was a good matchup. It was entertaining. LA Knight is the new United States champion. I am very happy about that. So congratulations, LA Knight, and. I, I don't know if it's because of what happened recently with Logan Paul, but it needed to be done. Not going to lie, it's the same thing with Sami Zayn. He's had a really good title reign. It's been entertaining, but it was time for the belt to come off him and for him to have it with uh, LA Knight just makes sense. So, very good matchup, entertaining, and finally, new United States champion. Let's get to our next matchup. So far, SummerSlam, it's been all right. So, we just had Bailey versus Nia Jax for the Women's Championship, and this was okay. It, it was a good matchup. It was good. Nia's better match, I'm not going to lie. It was a good matchup by uh, Nia Jax and Bailey. I, again, you can't really fuck up Nia Jax and Bailey. You fucking can't. But this was fun. It was entertaining. Uh, Tiffany tries to cash in, but Bailey stops that. But that then brings uh, Nia Jax to basically crush Bailey and get the win and becomes the new women's champion. Congratulations, Nia. Well deserved. And Bailey is fucking strong. I mean, a fucking power bomb from her was fucking impressive. I ain't gonna lie. But this was fun. This was an entertaining matchup. Nice Macho Man reference uh, from Bailey. I thought it was really cool. Not going to lie. Very entertaining. So yeah, Nia Jax is our new women's champion. Congratulations. And yeah, you know what? It was an okay matchup. Entertaining. Well done. Yeah. 
Can't wait to see Stratton turn on Naya and get the Women's Championship, if that is going to be the road they're going to go down. But we'll see further on. And uh, hopefully we get a little bit more from the Judgment Day, because uh, I want to know if Dom's uh, fucked off. <laughs> if Dom's fucked off yet or not, because that's going to be entertaining to see. So uh, hopefully that will be uh, carrying on with the world title uh, match, hopefully coming up soon. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to our next matchup, shall we? So we've just had Drew versus uh, Punk with Seth as the ref. I don't mind the hockey fight at the beginning. I liked that. But I don't think Seth being the referee was the right choice. I really don't think it was. I think it was a bad choice. Drew winning the match, I completely agree with. But them turning around and doing all that, uh, I, I really don't agree with it. I don't know why, but I don't think Drew should have been in the... Uh, I don't think Seth should have been the special guest ref. I think it should have just been a normal one-on-one -on -one with him as maybe an outside enforcer or something. But again, this was it was a fun match, don't get me wrong. Drew gets the win with the Claymore after a low blow. But I feel like this one should have been maybe a normal match. But hey, oh, it's one of them. So we will get to our semi-main event, which I believe is going to be uh Gunther versus um Damien Priest. So let's get to that. So we just had Gunther versus Damien Priest for the world title and holy shit this match was hard hitting. Fucking Elvis was good. This was damn good. It was entertaining. Amazingly Balor turns on Damien Priest. So Judgment Day's disbanded or Rear and Priest are out? I don't know. We'll see what happens on Raw, on Monday Night Raw, but man, this was good. Like, this was a good hard hitting matchup. You know, the rear naked choke into the roll up, and then a power bomb into the rear naked choke gets the win for Zirin General and is our new World Heavyweight Champion. But the ballot turn, the, the Dominic and ballot turn surprised me. Like, that was genuinely a shocker. Not gonna lie. This, this has been a really good... I'm not going to lie. This has been a really good SummerSlam. This has been, a, you know, top five SummerSlams, in my opinion. Personally, I've enjoyed the show. We've still got our world... Uh, our WWE Championship matchup. And so far, every single championship has changed hands. Is Solo Sokoa going to become the new WWE Champion? We'll find out. I, I don't think he will, but I'm going to be surprised if he is. We will see what happens. And fucking hell, Balor is still staring a hole into Priest. Fucking hell. And, uh, yeah, Gunther is our world, new World Heavyweight Champion. That is awesome. I cannot wait to see what is going on with the... Uh, with the... Um, hey, Ginny from, uh, WW, uh, from WWE UK. Fuck yeah. Nice little reference. That's awesome to see. So yeah, um, it's always, you know, this is going to be fun. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he's... <laughs> Gunther's on the table and he's going to he's gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm a world heavyweight champion. <laughs> I fucking love Gunther. This is going to... Uh, I don't see Gunther... I see Gunther holding the belt until Mania. I really do. And it's going to be really fucking good. So, uh, let's see what happens next. We've still got like an hour or so left of the show. So, let's see what happens. So, so awesome trip come out to basically say the uh, the announcement for WWE, and all of a sudden, A Town Down Under come out and basically turn around and you know start talking shit to uh, Jerry Roll, and our oh, truth basically calls them uh, the Rock and Roll Express, which is fucking brilliant, and then all of a sudden, Jerry Roll gets in the ring, hits A Town Down Under with a steel chair. And then just one-handedly choke slams Austin Theory, and then they hit a fucking uh, five knuckle shuffle on Austin Theory. That I'm not gonna lie was fucking gorgeous by Joey Well. Fucking gorgeous one-hand choke slam by Joey Well. Fucking amazing, dude. 
And uh, yeah, this is actually a really fun. This is actually a really funny segment. I actually enjoyed it. Our troops dancing, Miz is fucking ch- being cheered, and Jerry Rolls fucking awesome. So yeah, this is uh, yeah, that was actually quite fun. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, I um really enjoyed it. I thought it was funny as fuck. Right, so uh, after that, we are going to be getting something else, maybe, or we're just going to get a promo for our main event. So well, let's not waste any more time and see what's next for SummerSlam. Holy shit! Arn Anderson's backstaged! Holy fuck! Arn Anderson is backstage! Fucking hell! Arn Anderson's backstage at WWE. Fuck, that's... Wow. Oh, uh, it's Roman versus uh, Solo, so... Uh, Roman. Fucking Cody versus uh, Solo. So, let's get to this. Wait. Arn's just said that he's... That Cody's got a couple of friends. And they're on the way. Randy and Kevin? Gotta be. Gotta be. We'll see, but ooh, this could get interesting. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's do this. I fucking called it! Kevin Owens is back! Kevin Owens has just returned! Uh, Tamatonga and Tam- Tangaloa came out to basically try and attack Cody, but Kevin Owens is here! Fuck yeah! Legitimately just like. I'm a Canadian! I'm Canadian! I'm a Canadian, eh? <laughs> so. We've got Kevin Owens. Is Randy going to show up? Let's hope so. But Kevin Owens has made his return. Yay! <laughs> Let's carry on with the match. We've got Randy Orton! Orton's back as well, baby! Fuck yeah! I called it. I did say Orton and Kevin. I did say Orton and uh, Kevin. Oh, fuck yeah! RKO is back! Fuck yeah! Yep. Randy, fucking run, you twat! <laughs> nicely. I mean, not nicely, but come on, there we go. It's time for a full-on street fight, baby. Here we go. Oh! Oh, beautiful RKO! Fucking gorgeous, baby. Stunner! Beautiful as fuck. Oh, let's carry on with this match. This is going to be good. Wait. Not bad. Not bad power slam. Not bad. Right, we're carrying on watching the match. Holy shit, Roman's here. Oh my god, Roman Reigns. What the fuck? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Who, who's he going for? Is he going for Roman? Is he going for Cody? Or is he going for Solo? If it is Roman... It could be Paul. It could be Paul playing a trick. Oh no, he's here! Holy shit, Roman Reigns is here! Oh my god, Roman Reigns is here! Oh fuck! Who who's he going for? Who's he going for? Holy fuck, Roman Reigns is here! Our tribal, our true tribal chief is here. Oh, and Cody's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I've already dealt with these, I've already dealt with this son of a bitch. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, is he here for Solo? He could be. We're going to find out soon. One sec. He did, he just Superman punched Solo. He is here for Solo. We are getting the Roman versus Solo feud. Fuck yes. OG Bloodline versus New Bloodline, baby. Beautiful spear for Roman's return. But, uh-oh. Oh, but stare down between Roman and Cody. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful seeing Roman back in WWE. Fuck yeah. But, uh-oh. Oh. He's just shook his head. And Cody just gone. And he's walking away. Oh, this is for the Ula Fala now. Oh, this is going to be good. Cody's like, alright, cool. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm winning the match. Fuck this shit. 
I'm winning the match. Oh, that's beautiful. Cody, uh, Roman Reigns is back in the WWE. Fuck yes, all we need is our true wise man as well. Paul Heyman back as well. Yeah, thank you, Roman. Thank you, Roman. Fuck yes. Come on, Cody. Get the win. Get the win, buddy. Right, see you in a sec. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have our winner. Cody Rhodes retains the WWE Undisputed Championship after Roman Reigns makes his return to the WWE, hitting a Superman punch and a spear on Solo Sokoa. And Cody has not taken his eyes off of Roman Bar hitting the crossroads to get the win for himself in the title retention. But holy shit, we are going to be getting Bloodline versus Bloodline. Old school v new school. I am looking forward to that one, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be a fun one. This has been a damn good entertaining SummerSlam. This is top five SummerSlams in my eyes. I have been seriously entertained by this show. This has been a fun ass show. Fun pay-per-view. One of the best SummerSlams, I think, in recent memory. I will say that now. But Roman's got other prop. Roman has now got Solo Sokoa to deal with. Solo Sokoa versus Roman Reigns is coming up soon. I cannot wait. And, well, Bash in Berlin is just in four weeks' time, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. But the pop that Roman got when he made his return was fucking huge. It was awesome. But, yes, our true tribal chief is back in the WWE. So with that being said, chat, I will be seeing you in a few weeks for a CWS episode and we've got All In in London and we've also got uh, Bash in Berlin. So I will see you there. So TCF then. Ta-ta for now.